Man, I just can't seem to focus today. It's almost like my brain isn't even working. I'm totally going to fail. My doctor prescribed me Adderall because I have such trouble staying on task. You should totally get some. I don't know. Do you really think it would work for me? In fact, more and more people are being prescribed cognitive enhancers, like Adderall and Ritalin, in the past decade. Specifically, from 2007 to 2013, there's been a 56% hike in prescriptions handed out by doctors. This has led to an increase in accessibility and generalizability of using Adderall for people who are not prescribed. A lot of people, including an abundance of college students, tend to take Adderall by buying it off of their friends who have a prescription. Overall, about 17% of college students report using cognitive enhancers off-label. Other reasons given to take off-label cognitive enhancers are typically associated with other drug and alcohol usage, but these are often offset by a high-energy supplement such as Red The brain stays focused and can concentrate on one task or another based on the levels of dopamine, an important biomolecule that is present in the brain at the time. Brain studies of diagnosed ADHD patients revealed that there are much lower levels of dopamine and higher densities of dopamine transporters in their brains. This means that it takes longer signals to be transmitted to the next neuron since there is more reuptake and therefore less dopamine flowing in the brain. Adderall works by blocking dopamine transporters and therefore increasing the levels of dopamine in the system. This leads to the effects that are seen in patients. But do you think you would actually help me prepare for tomorrow's exam? There are actually a lot of pros to taking the medication. A lot of research has shown that taking these enhancers, even when not prescribed, can help with executive function, which includes working memory. Working memory is when you're actively using your phonological loop or visual spatial sketch pad to remember material at hand. By being able to maintain more material in working memory, you're potentially able to process the material more thoroughly and deeply, allowing for better and more complete recall later. Also found with these medications is increased inhibitory control. The moderation of dopamine in people who use these cognitive enhancers when not prescribed allows for focusing of attention on a singular task. This allows for off-target stimuli to be ignored and the majority of attention to be directed to task at hand. This all seems a little too good to be true. Are you sure I'm not actually putting myself in danger or potentially making myself even worse off? One of the things I've heard is that because of the mechanism of action of the drug, there are numerous off-target effects. One of the most notable changes being the increased sympathetic response, including a rise in blood pressure and heart rate, which can cause major complications, especially due to interactions with other medications or previously diagnosed conditions such as certain anxiety and heart-related disorders. Further, taking these medications when not prescribed can also lead to detrimental effects to one's confidence about their performance. This is especially relevant in sleep-deprived users. Cognitive enhancers show little to no benefit in performance. Even though most people reported using these drugs to study for major examinations, when sleep deprivation is a confounding factor, the results are often not what is expected. Studies have shown that people are more confident in their performance on a test or a card matching task when they use cognitive enhancers compared to when they do not. This means that just because I am super confident after studying and during the exam, I might not actually understand the material as well as I thought I did. It works really well for me, but some of my friends say that they don't really notice any improvements. I think it varies from person to person. In all reality, Adderall and similar type medications are not quite the super drug that a lot of people think that they are. Although it is true there are potential benefits from off-label use, there are a lot of other variables to consider. Depending upon your current mental state, personal physiology, and cognitive task, Adderall or Ritalin can actually hinder your productivity. Further, if your brain does not have the dopamine deficiency the drug targets in the first place, or you are high functioning on a particular task, studies have consistently shown that the drug actually has little cognitive benefits for you. So what you are saying is that it is important for me to weigh these factors for myself when considering the use of the drug, and not just assume because it works for someone else, it will do wonders for me.